Namaskaram everyone. I'm here in the Dharang village of Kutch district and I was led here by the locals and they told me about this place where I'm sitting right now. I'll come to the lore behind the Sant here who was here in the 1600s and I'll come to the story of this Kshetra of whom he is the Kshetra Pala in a few minutes but before that um, let me just give you guys a quick update on where I've been and where I'm going towards. I did a similar update from Narayan Sarovar that you guys are aware of maybe the previous live, live update was from Narayan Sarovar and from Narayan Sarovar I went towards Lakhpat and from Lakhpat uh, there was there is this small Gurudwara in Lakhpat and from Lakhpat I went to Dhinodhar um, and climbed the 1000 steps of Dhinodhar on top of who, which is uh, the Samadhi of uh, Dhoramnath Ji. I initially thought it is the Dharmanatha of the Jain tradition but it is of the Nath Sampradaya. So there is this wonderful uh, series of temples of the Nath Sampradaya yogis on top of Dhinodhar Dungar. Dungar means a hill in Gujarati and after climbing that down I drove towards Kala Dungar or Kalo Dungar as Gujaratis call it which is just beside the run of Kutch lake and the sunset was just amazing I could just drive all the way up there there, there, is, there are no steps for Kalo Dungar and on top of Kalo Dungar is Dattatreya Mandir and uh, I recorded two videos for Bhagavad Gita shlokas in both of these places. GK Ahirji, Namaskaram. That, oh, it's Gayatri. <laughs> Namaskaram, Gayatri Ahirji. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yeah, I met uh, Gayatri Ji there on Dhinodhar Hill. You started saying Namaskaram already. Wonderful. Mm, so from Kalu Dungar, I had uh, seen the sunset there, which was spectacular against the, against the background of... Uh, the great run of Kutch. I researched a little bit about the history of the place, the geological shift that happened there in the 1800s, 1819. And uh, from Kaludungar, I came back uh, towards the southern uh, region. I crossed Tropic of Cancer to go there. I came down of uh, Tropic of Cancer and I was just bunking in the car for the night when I met uh, Sarup Singh Ji and then I talked to him for uh, the night and I spent some time in the quarters that he had and today morning uh, they had told me about uh, Rudramata Mandir and there is this wonderful uh, uh, what is this called Gurukul there and uh, there are about 120 students who, was, who were having their breakfast early in the morning at 6 o'clock when I went to the mandir. And uh, I did my sadhana there, talked to the people there, ate some neem leaves, had some, had some more chai. And uh, yeah, after finishing my sadhana at Rudramata Mandir, the people there told me about uh, this Mekaran Dada Ashram and that I should come visit this place. And before coming here, there was this ancient sun temple uh, in Kotada village. So I recorded a video there and it was the, ba the background there was spectacular. You guys, I'll post it on as an update on Instagram. And uh, yeah, so there was this place called Pragat Pani. And the, all of this is related now to the story of Mekrandada and uh, Lalio and Motio. I'll come to that now. So in the 1600s, 1667 was when uh, Mekran Dada was born and until uh, 1700s, early 1700s, his life's work went on and he was an enlightened being, clearly, who took Samadhi in the 1700s and along with him, many other of his disciples, more than 40 disciples took Samadhi and he is worshipped in many communities including Ahir community. Around 17 Sampradayas, I heard, consider him as their guru. Um, so his life's work was to help people who, 
who were lost in the desert the wayfarers and wanderers who were suffering the heat of the intense heat of the desert he used to feed them and uh, quench their thirst using his trusty companions laliyo which is a donkey on whom he used to you know pack up food and water and motio who is a dog used to sniff out and lead laliyo towards those people who are lost in the desert so there are the thumbnail of this video and this entire shrine the mandir around is for uh, laliyo and motio and uh, mekran dada and all their uh, disciples and the entire sampradaya that has been coming down so there is they said there is prasadam here so i'll have lunch here and there are like four maybe five videos that i've recorded so far i need to edit all of those so after heading back from here i'll go towards bhuj stay in a hotel there maybe finish some editing and uploading of videos and then from bhuj head towards patan towards rani ki wav and the modhera san temple and from there down towards ahmedabad so that is the plan for the next part of the journey and this is where i've been so far so i i sat here because in gujarati script it said uh, kshetrapala maybe it's inverted right now it says uh, jay shri dada khetrapal so khetrapal in gujarati is the kshetrapala word of sanskrit so the similar to the kshetrapala we have down in ishayava center in bangalore so i thought uh, i'll start the live stream here and the premises that you see behind me is uh, the temple premises for mekran dada and i'll i'll flip the camera around that is there is also samadhis for uh, laliyo and motio the donkey and the dog see jay shri dada khetrapal the naga and these all the other mini samadhis for the disciples of mekran dada so mekran this i mean in gujarati when it is said quickly it has also become mekan so some people call him mekan dada i get to i get the premises that you see there are for laliyo and motio let me take you closer are there any mentions in chat thank you so much agastya madhuchanda what a nice name namaskaram gokul namaskaram hindi mein baat kijiye chaliye yahan se thoda hindi mein bhi baat kar lete hain aadha hindi mein aadha english mein अब से ऐसा हो सकता है शायद तो ये है समाधियाँ जहाँ लालियो और मोतियो हैं तो वो है लालियो उस और वहाँ सो so इसको गधा को गधेड़ा बोलते हैं गुजराती में तो गधेड़ा लालियो और वो कुत्रो मोतियो जिनकी सहायता से मेकरण दादा पानी पिलाते थे और खाना देते थे जो भी भटक जाते थे रण में तो इनकी समाधि यहाँ है और संत और पीर माना जाते हैं माने जाते हैं मेकरण दादा और यहाँ मोतियों का एक और विग्रह जी सो दैट इज व्हाट आई फिगर्ड आउट द old ways of all religions all these multiple traditions of the country right and generally it is thought that north india the spiritual element is not as much as it is in south india because the north faced so many invasions but at the crux of it i find i mean north india much more spiritual in some ways i mean south indians don't get offended now but there is always hospitality wherever you go there is there is very little uh, friction towards approaching anybody everybody is so inviting and to their homes to their ashrams to wherever right so people are always welcoming and offering chai all the time <laughs> and uh, feeding people all the time which is in its essence one of the most essential elements of sanatana dharma where you you know take care of if if the stomach is full that's it so annadana 
वेर एवर इट हैपन्स सो दे कॉल इट प्रसादम एंड प्रसाद ग्रहण करके जाइएगा सो एवरी वेयर दैट इज द नॉम एंड इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग टू सी सनातन धर्म स्ट्राइव थ्राइविंग नॉट स्ट्राइविंग थ्राइविंग इन दिस वंडरफुल वे आई मीन एवरी संप्रदाय हैज इट्स ओन चैलेंजेस दे आर फेसिंग देर आर सम कब्जाज दैट आर गोइंग ऑन ऑफ द लैंड दे हैव फंड आर इन शॉर्टेज बिकॉज देर आर हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशंस लाइक दिस बट येस इट्स दे आर दे आर स्टिल कीपिंग द टेम्पल्स हब दे आर स्टिल फीडिंग पीपल हु कम educating them about their own sampradayas and there are hundreds of them and uh, gayatri ji who i met yesterday in dhinodhar told me about the ahir community and the intricate works the fabric that they weave which is so beautiful which takes sometimes 2 to 3 years she was saying and uh, yeah it's rich in many many ways despite all the plunder and the loot that has happened in many across centuries so this is the main temple gayatri ji aap suddenly sir kya bolne lage kal to acha theek hai uh videos dekhe honge thode aur aur ye hai mandir mekran dada ka andar uh, photography mana hai lekin wahan tak ja sakte hain shayad jahan tak ja sakte hain chalenge abhi yahan acha signal mil gaya to maine socha thoda लाइव स्ट्रीम कर लेंगे अपडेट दे देंगे नहीं तो कल तक तो मैं वीडियो से रिकॉर्ड कर रहा था जहाँ भी सिग्नल मिल जाता है कच्छ में थोड़ा कम ही है मोबाइल कवरेज नेटवर्क कवरेज तो हम अभी अंदर हैं यहाँ मनाही बोल के कुछ बोर्ड नहीं है तो यहाँ ले सकते हैं संत श्री मेकरण दादानी आवी चढ़ गादी क्या बात है so this is the th- seat of mekran dada and there are pictures of him along with lali and moti everywhere and there are also pictures of other sants and mahatmas from this lineage so inside these premises uh, there is the samadhi of him and other devotees so photography is not allowed there there was a board so i'll stop here uh, but there are all other smaller shrines for multiple shaktis and devi mandirs and uh, shri ram and sita maiya and smaller shrines hanuman ji and this was the norm with every other temple that i saw that instead of kartikeya so generally in south indian temples there is hanuma there is uh, at the entrance of every temple there is ganesh ji and opposite him is uh, kartikeya or shanmukha or muruga as he is called in tamil but here opposite instead of kartikeya i see hanuman ji in front of ganesh ji everywhere so very interesting uh, constructions but most some temples i see it's very uh, in in line with how agama shastra texts are there is vatuka bhairava in that specific direction in that alignment of the temple but most temples are new so there was this part especially there was an earthquake also in 2001 so jirnodhara happened to many temples so namaste bhai sir uh, so so uh, yeah so it's prasad time also and i'm feeling hungry since i had started my day early and i've just been sustaining on small cups of chai so i'll talk to the people around and uh, keep giving you more updates as i travel along like i said the plan from here is to go to vageshwari mandir which is around half an hour from here uh, and then towards uh, bhuj then patan uh, modhera san temple and then ahmedabad so that is the plan thank you so much for joining and getting this travel update everyone once again if you fall anywhere along the path of the journey make sure you message me on instagram if you are interested in meeting up or if you have any questions drop them on instagram um, gujarat rajas sanskrit board gandhi nagar ki mulakat bhi kariye hardik swagat hai acha agar aap wahan se hain kya agar aap wahan se hain to uh, zarur mulakat hogi aap message kijiyega instagram mein taki main uh, plan kar paun kab aana hai kahan aana hai हो सकता है uh, 2023 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नीट एस्पेरेंट 
हो सकता है हमारे ऊपर है कि जितने लोग जितने ज़्यादा लोग बोल पाए घोषित भी कर सकते हैं ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज के तौर पर देखेंगे चलिए अब मैं यहाँ विदा लेता हूँ और आगे प्रस्थान करता हूँ थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन नमस्कार